So what's your book backing up Winston on about? It's a very unusual book. It's about a dog, and it's narrated by a dog who gets rescued into a 1970s family that's full of life, energy and fun, but also has a very dark side. And the dog goes on a journey to save the family that saved him, to save the family from its own dark side. Okay. Um, why did you decide to write a book from a dog's point of view? The novel, I suppose, is semi-autobiographical. It's got some difficult stuff in it. And I tried over many, many years to find a way to write it. And then one day I realised if I gave the dog the power of speech, he could put a little bit of a distance between me and the subject matter. And that's what happened. So by using the dog, I was able to make the work breathe. But also, I've loved dogs all my life. And I absolutely love the dog as a character. And the whole idea of playing with the dog and having him as the guy who goes in and explores what's happening in this family intrigued me and I find that very enjoyable. Did you face any problems trying to become a writer? Yeah, I mean, if you want to be rich, don't become a writer. Um, if you want self, if you want esteem and status straight away from other people, don't become a writer. Um, you've got to work immensely hard and uh, you've got to keep your confidence and trust that one way or another you'll manage to do it. I know you've pub self-published your book in, like, to start with, but then you got picked up by a big company. How do you feel about that? It's fantastic. Um, you were asking earlier about the difficulty of becoming a writer. And there's you know many a time when you might want to give up because you're short of money and you need recognition. For me, getting picked up by Constable and Robinson, and Constable is Britain's oldest independent publisher, was a really, really major thing because it added to my credibility. And it also means I'm out here signing and talking to people. And uh, it's the best kind of marriage a writer can want, to have a really credible publisher on your side. And for all of the times when, in the past, I thought, gosh, will I make it? Now I know I have complete credibility. And that's a fantastic thing to have. All goes well. That's a big if. Um, the next, the next of the uh, books of the Winston Tales is written, but not published yet. And I'm working on the third. So if all goes well, you should ultimately see four of these books.